Hey everyone and welcome back to VFXY once again. Today we are going to continue our last video where we have seen how we can convert a day scene into night. And in this particular video, we are going to see how we can add camera shake, how we can add a dust element, how we can add a smoke element. And also we are going to see how we are going to add light flicker by adding expressions. Yes, today's video is going to be a very interesting video. So be with me and definitely you are going to learn something new. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Let's add some randomness to it. Before adding randomness or before adding detail, what I will do, I am having my goddess too flat, right? So two things I'm going to add in my goddess. One is dust particles and another one is smoke, environmental smoke. So let me bring those two assets. Okay, so now I'm having this dust particle, right? I'm going to use it and also I'm having this uh, smoke particle or dust particle again, if you can see, I'm having these two assets, I'm going to use it. First thing first, what I will do, I will just take one dot node over here and I'll take a merge node. This will be B and this will be A. Without thinking anything, I'm going to multiply my God rays with my dust particles. Of course, you will not be able to see anything because also I'm having uh, this kind of alpha over here. I'm having this kind of alpha, but need not to worry. I'm going to take a grade node and I will increase it as per my requirement. Like I can do this might be I can do this. So this much I want this is again, it's interacting with my volume rays. And after that, I will take one more merge and I will add it with my actual God rays. So what will happen? I will have my God rays, but also I will have my actual dust particles. So if needed, I can put it on uh, screen. And if needed, I can anytime come and uh, lower down my this thing. But if I'm going to see my final output, if you can see, I'm having my dust particle over here. I think it's too much. So to control this, I will go over here and might be I'll reduce gamma a bit. I want a very subtle effect. And if I'm going to play it, it will play. And if you can see, yes, I'm having my dust particle moving like this. Can you see? It's coming out pretty nice. Also, I will use this thing and uh, I will multiply my smoke. And to do that, yes, I will take another dot node or might be I can go come over here and I can take dot node over here. I can take merge node might be I will use this. It's all up to you how you're going to take your flow and I will multiply this thing. And if I'm going to multiply Again, you won't be able to see anything, but if you can see over here, I'm having my color of my God rays and also I am having my smoke. So to fix it again, I will take this might be I need to take these things little down and I will take another merge and I'll merge it. Suddenly by adding this thing only, you can see, although I'm not able to see my smoke, but if I'm going to disable it, can you see that? So what I will do, as you can see over here, you are not able to see anything once I multiplied this thing. So I'll take a grade note as we did it in uh, adding dust and I'll increase gain might be a little gamma again, a little white point. And once I'm satisfied with the uh, look and fill, I'll take a merge node and I will merge everything back on my volume rate. So if I'm going to show you, can you see I'm having my dust particles, I'm having my smoke and I'm having my God rays. Isn't it great, right? So once I'm satisfied, I'll go and I'll check my final output. Now, if you can see, I'm having some variation, right? If I think my smoke is too much, so I will go over here. Might be I can change opacity. Why not? Can you see? I can change my opacity like this. So yes, this is something quite interesting. And if you can see, I am having a good output till 
now now let's add some movement to it so if you can see it's still image now i want to add some kind of camera shake some kind of light flickering effect you know so let's start adding some camera shake i'm not going to use any fancy node if you will type camera shake in your nuke you will have by default camera shake node which is i'm going to use i'm not sure you guys have used it or not but for this i'm going to use my camera shake and it will work amazing trust me if you can see over here can you see now it's working pretty fine like if you can see it's moving it's it's camera shaking kind of stuff so uh, of course i need to change few things like amplitude i want like 15 a little amplitude is something how much your camera shake will go from 1 pixel to 15 pixel or 50 pixel this is the distance of camera shake to be traveled again also i want some rotation kind of stuff so if you want to see better how it's working i will take a a constant node or checkerboard node it's it's pretty simple because it's uh, getting too heavy so i'll play it because it, it will be easier for me to show you and if you can see uh, i'm not able to identify it's moving or not because it's totally gray so it will be good if i'm taking a checkerboard node it will be easier for us to understand now if you can see it's moving uh, in x and y axis so definitely i'll go over here i want rotation might be 0.3 or 0.5 so little rotation kind of stuff also i want some breathing movement like scaling mm, 0.1 or 0.1 might be it's too much can you see 0.01 so you have to play with it now if you can see i am having a good breathing camera shaking movement you need to go and you need to play with this camera shake but i'm not going to spend more time because again a video will be quite longer and if you can see i'm having a good camera shake right of course i need to tweak few things apart from that if i want to add some light flickering like some interruption in light so to do that of course i am going to use expressions so what i will do i will identify where my final glow is coming so mostly i can see my final glow is coming over here there are two ways to do that if you want you can go and you can use everything separate separate uh, but for sake of this example i am going to use uh, collectively right so of course i will take a grade node over here and i will type expression in my gain right so i'll go over here and i'll click and i'll go and i'll hit edit expression so i'll have my expression node okay so this is uh, my expression is i will provide this expression and i'll copy this and i'll paste it and i'll hit okay once i'm done with this if i'm going to play can you see what will happen can you see it's flickering let it buffer and i'll show you can you see so it's buffering like it's flickering kind of stuff and once i'm going to combine this with my camera shake just to show you it will do wonders can you see now my camera is shaking and light is flickering so it's a cool combination can you see so also if my flickering is happening you remember i created this interaction part right so this should be flickering as well so what i will do i will go over here and i'll hit control k control k is copy as clone and i will go over here and i'll hit control v and if i'm going to hit alt e if you can see it's connected via expression because i want if i want to change this automatically this will be changed and again i'm going over here and i'm going to connect this thing so as my that particular flicker is working same flicker should come over here as well right can you see that and now if i'm going to see this it's coming out pretty nicely over here if you can see my flicker is working like this see and it, it's shaking as well right so uh so far so good if i will show you over here this is what i'm having can you see so small small things but your composition is going to be a very fantastic i hoping also if you want suppose that your light is flickering on this frame 
right so your dust particle or smoke particle will expose little more so if you want to control that thing also you can work individually also what i did i added my grade node collectively but i feel that my smoke should be visible little more so there are two ways to do that again i can control this y expression or you can do it manually as well what i did i'll show you so i'm having this grade and it's animated and if i'm going to show you you can do it both ways and if i'm going to play it if you can see the the frame where my flickering is happening this smoke will be little more brighter so that is something i have added and if i'm going to do this and might be same thing i'm going to add where my dust particles are like this can you see now it's coming out pretty nice and if i'm going to play this let me buffer it and i'll show you now see can you see it's shaking if you think my camera shake is too much you can control your camera shake properties as well like this but i'm not going to do that might be rotation is too much i can reduce it frequency is too much might be i can increase it you never know right apart from that i am going to take a vignette node which is ap vignette if you want you can use manual way as well i think it's too much might be i'll go over here and i'll reduce amount but if you can see it's coming out nicely right also i can use a node called chromatic aberration might be i will not have so i'll go over here and i will go to others and all plugins update now i will have my chromatic aberration because it's a gizmo which i am using and i think i don't need to change anything if you can see i'm having a little chromatic aberration kind of stuff if you can see can you see so it's pretty subtle but uh, it's effective also if needed if needed only i can go over here and i can take a grain node if you have grain like you can import it but uh, currently i'm using kodak grain and this will be too much i guess so i will go over here and might well use preset 5 to 1 it and yeah this is something you can try it out and now if you can see i am having from this to this isn't it great so after doing some final tweakings uh, i added one more glow which is this i reduced it like i add dilated it my this thing main uh, glow i transformed it in such a way and i blurred it in a single axis can you see just to have a long streak and i same way added my flickering effect over here and i added it on top of everything so i will have a subtle elongated kind of glow or might be i can say it's a camera artifacts a uh, same way after that i have used my chromatic aberration i have used my grain and i used my camera shake and i used ap vignetting and this is what i am having so if i am going to check this my final output i am having a good result isn't it great so yes by this way you can uh, plan your shots and i hope you have learned something new in this video so if you think my videos are helping you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is wfx5 signing off have a good day